Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Curiosity Cafe. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a hidden developer tool that is on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Whether you have an older one, a newer one, a TV, or even a cube, you can access this menu. Now, what is this developer tool menu going to do? Well, it's gonna share with you what is bogging down your Fire Stick. So if it's not performing maybe like it used to when it was new, you can find out why, you can find out what apps are causing it. So we're gonna do that in today's video. I'll show you that hidden menu. Guys, not even Amazon employees know about this hidden menu. I wish they shared it with everybody, but they don't. That's why I'm here, let's go. All right, guys, so how do you access this hidden developer tool menu? Guys, this is a pretty cool little menu. So what you need to do is just hit the center button on your remote and then hit the down directional arrow at the same time. Now we're gonna hold this down for just about nah, two, three seconds, and then you're immediately gonna hit the menu, which is the three dashed lines. Seems like a lot, it's really not hard. If you don't do it quite right, you can try it again and just make sure you do it exactly as I say. Center button, down button, it will scroll down really fast. A Couple seconds later, menu button it pulls up it'll do it every time guys if you do it right don't hold it down more than five seconds or it won't work just hold it down for a couple seconds and then immediately let go and hit that menu button this is what you're going to get all right guys so you've got system x-ray now what is that that is going to actually put an overlay at the top of your screen that will show you what is causing problems so what i'll do sometimes is i will go ahead and turn this on it will show at the top that we're running 1080p on this tv so this stick and this tv is running 1080p yours might say 4k yours might say 720 and then your cpu now the cpu is interesting because you'll want to take a look at that while you're running those apps that may be freezing or if the audio is out of sync this is a great way to see if it's because your CPU is overloaded. How much memory, you wanna make sure you're not in the red over there because then you need to start deleting some stuff. And then network performance. There's more in network performance that I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. Now, that system x-ray, that will stay on your screen and you can remove it at any time following this exact same instruction to pull this menu up like I shared. I like to keep it up when I'm running certain apps that I find that I have issues with. So sometimes I do have issues with Sling TV and I wondered what the problem was. Well, I ran this, it was too hard on my CPU. Cody, the same thing, too hard on my CPU. If it's not performing well with that app, I don't use the app. So that's kind of a good indication to find out maybe what's wrong. Now, we can go down to advanced options, and this is going to be for those techies that just want to know a little bit more. On the right-hand side, it'll be another overlay, which will show your multimedia, and if you do have some sort of um, audio, it'll show some audio information there as well, external audio. I don't like to keep that on necessarily, but if you are a techie and you want a little bit more information, you can access that, but it just seems to be kind of annoying for me. Then you have some other things on here. Now you can turn your developer options on right there, which is kind of neat, as well as developer row, which is really cool. I'm not gonna get too much into that because I have another video coming and I don't want you to mess anything up. So I've got another video that's a little bit more detailed for those advanced users. You can clear credential storage and then launch network advisor right here. This is pretty cool. So if you launch Network Advisor, you can actually check out your network right now. Let's run a speed test and see how we're doing. It takes just a few seconds. And while I'm running this speed test, this speed tester is, if you look at the CPU, is really pushing the CPU performance right now. So this particular task is causing a lot of strain on your CPU, so it may not perform as well. Now, if you're running a Cube, which is going to have a little bit better processor or the newest Mac, this is the 2018 one I'm using here, so it may perform a little bit better than this. So I'm running 111 megabits per second. Uh, and as you can see, I just measured it just now. You can also get into your advanced settings here as well, and you can find out what, you know, all kinds of stuff here, like your signal strength, your noise utilization. And I talked about this on other videos as well, but this is a nice way to find out if your network is causing the problem. A little bit more detailed uh, menu right there. So it's kind of cool to be able to do this. So if you're running another app and, you, and it's just not performing well, turn on your system x-ray, go back to the app, launch it. Let's just launch one really quick here. Since I have you on here, we'll go to the top and we'll just pull up an app. Let's pull up this one right here, which is a great app, app toy. Now this one here, as you can see, bumped it a little bit, but it wasn't too bad, but it's not really running anything actively. So let's say for example, we're running the Roku channel. Now this one might take up a little bit more. As it's loading, you'll notice it's really bogging it down, but which is fine, but you don't want it, any of those in the red while you're actually watching anything. So let's watch some live news here and see how it affects it. 
intelligence suggests that Beijing is considering sending artillery and all right so as you can see here it's not affecting it too bad at all so that is good this is a good app to use so that's a great way to tell kind of which apps are okay to use and which ones aren't for your device especially if you've got one of those older fire tv sticks now again to get back to that menu go ahead and hold the center and the down directional couple seconds hit the menu pulls up turn off system x-ray and now it's gone and you're back to your normal screen you don't have to see it anymore you have to admit that's a pretty cool little tool there to be able to access and at any time have an overlay and see what's going on there's certain apps that are maybe freezing up on you this is a great way to just have that running and you can remove it anytime you want just having it running on an overlay kind of shows you what is causing maybe some of the problems on those regular apps that you're using. If you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, just subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified of videos as they come out, it's a little bit different process than it used to. Now you have to click my channel name, go to the top and click that bell and then click all notifications. You have to go through that process now or you just don't get notified like you used to. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great day.